Item number SCP-2270 Security Level 3 Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Aki Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures Written or electronic information pertaining to SCP-2270 or the incantations relating to SCP-2270, specifically instances of SCP-2270-A, is to be strictly controlled in all original documents kept in a high security storage locker at Site-81. Under no circumstances are unauthorized personnel to access or view the aforementioned documents. Foundation intelligence assets are to monitor internet and media sources for signs of information related to SCP-2270. Individuals found to be in possession of SCP-2270 material are to be apprehended, questioned, and then released upon amnestic treatment unless follow-up investigation is warranted. Description SCP-2270 is the group designation for specific information, incantations, and rituals pertaining to the Mesopotamian god of war and son, Nagao. This information can take many forms, but it is believed that the original source of these incantations is a series of eight texts by a Romanian Renaissance author and philosopher, Therene Vrsilica. Note. According to texts written about Vesilica, the author died after attempting to summon Nagao himself, but failing to complete the ritual. His final words were recorded as, Oh God, oh God, what have I done? I can feel the heat. These texts collectively titled Appeal to Aristigo and designated SCP-2270-A exist in few original copies. SCP-2270 is written in sporadic, occasionally nonsense prose, which will occasionally devolve into extremely intricate and complicated explanations of rituals and incantations required to persuade Nagar to attack a large, overwhelming enemy force. The eight volumes each describe a different section of the appeal, summaries of which are listed below. Volume 1 a city in a blistering wind. Volume describes the reasons why a mortal would dare to seek counsel with Nagao, when the entity's very presence would be enough to scorch the entire earth. Rituals contained include those designed to appeal to Nagao's divine righteousness. Volume 2. A Call for Blood Spilt. Volume describes how Nagao cannot be communicated with by mortals. Note, described literally as Nagao being completely unable to comprehend a lesser human speech, but those seeking blood call out to him nonetheless. Rituals contained include those designed to appeal to Nagao's fury. Volume 3, A Beckoning. Volume describes how, in order to seek the attention of the divine, the persuaded must first seek out Nagao's primary consort, Arishkakao, who alone sits in Nagal's right hand. Rituals contained include those designed to appeal to Nagal's attention through Arishkagal. Volume 4. Appeal to Arishkagal. Volume describes how one would speak to the half-divine she torturer Arishkagal and what would need to be said to convince her to speak to Nagal on Persuane's behalf. It is implied heavily that Arishtago communicates with and controls the will of Nagal through fortification. Rituals contained include those designed to appeal to Nagal's lust. Volume 5 Indication of Divine Guilt Volume describes what must be said and done to identify a target of Nagal's fury and how to relay that information to Arishtago. Note, it is implied very heavily that the two speak different languages and are only capable of communicating by utilizing the method listed above. By crafting the words needed in her language, rituals contained include those designed to appeal to God's person gaze. Volume 6 Note, 
Although reference in describing other volumes within the set, to date, Foundation assets have been unable to locate any portions of Volume 6 or any knowledge of the text therein that is not otherwise described elsewhere. Acceptance of Eternal Consequence Volume describes the consequences of summoning Nagal, specifically those who bind themselves to the deity, are, upon death, enslaved to its furnace in the sun to stroke the fires of its hatred eternally. No rituals are believed to be described within this volume. Volume 7, A Sacrifice of Life, A Final Appeal Volume describes how, after successfully appealing to Lushkago and accepting the consequences, the persuaded must make a final appeal to Nago by way of a blood sacrifice. Lushkago then takes the blood spilled from this sacrifice and presents it to Nago, who then consumes it to trigger his bloodlust. Rituals contained include those designed to appeal to Nago's wrath. Volume 8 Victorious. Volume describes the prayer that must be given to Nagal while the deity delivers its judgment against the guilt. In order to assure Nagal of the persuasion's resolve, the prayer, which itself is written over 400 pages and takes up 97% of the volume, must be read start to finish without pause. As explained that should the persuasion be unable to do this, Nagal will instead destroy the persuasion instead of the guilt. Ritual contained is a single prayer. SCP-2270-B is the entity described within SCP-2270-A, currently believed to be a DT Nagal. Based on current records, it is believed that SCP-2270-B has only manifested once during Incident 2270-Alpha. Note, subsequent Foundation tests of SCP-2270's capabilities have been unsuccessful. SCP-2270-B manifested as a massive, vividly colored arm extending towards the Earth from the Sun. SCP-2270-B has been observed as being capable of a single focus ballistic strike with an estimated force of 275 pedajoules. Note, this impact force estimation is based solely on the observations of particle state at the exact point of impact and the circular area with a 50 meter radius around it. The energy contained within the impact appeared to rapidly dissipate, mostly as light and heat. Addendum 2271 Incident 2270 Alpha On March 16, 1994, a massive explosion was detected near the town of Fort Peck, Montana. Cover stories of an accidental explosion at an army weapons depot are quickly disseminated amongst the public, while Foundation agents were to discover the source. The only recording of the incident was an accidental one, and due to the atmospheric effects of SCP-2270-B's manifestation, the recording was badly damaged. In the aftermath of Incident 2270-Alpha, it was discovered that a local man, Jerry Hubert of Augusta, Montana, had recently been inquiring about information relating to SCP-2270 in internet chat rooms dedicated to the occult. Note, notably, Mr. Hubert had previously made several calls to law enforcement for minor domestic disturbances, but no charges were ever filed. After an initial investigation was unable to locate Mr. Hubert, a raid on his Augusta home discovered Covered a series of emails contacted to a contact from the Rutherford Group, a supplier for the American division of Marshall, Carter, and Dark Limited. In the messages, Mr. Hubert requests information pertaining to SCP-2270 and later purchases the entirety of a nearly complete set of SCP-2270-A for $75,000. Further investigation was unable to determine the identity of the contact, nor the location from which the SCP 2270A set was sent. Below are excerpts from the aforementioned emails detailing Mr. Hubert's negotiation with the supplier and the follow up conversation. Subject Question 
Hello, I'm writing to you to inquire about the books you describe as having for sale on Beep. I'm interested in finding how much I can purchase them for. My name is Jerry. Please email me at jhub89 at tnet.com. Thank you. Subject, price. I've wired the $25,000 to you. I will wire the rest when I receive the package. Thank you. Subject, received. I've received the packages. These look really good. This will do the trick, huh? Because I am about sick and tired of this asshole Dave. Did I tell his dog piss on my lawn again last night? Yes, it did. I'm gonna get this guy good. Subject, help. There are a lot of steps in these things. Do I need to read all of it for it to work? Subject, blood. What does it mean when it says blood sacrifice? Also, Dave parked in front of my house again today. Even though I told him not till last week, he's definitely going to get his soon. Subject, help again. I just read the part about eternal consequences. That's not for real, right? Subject, ready to go. Hey man, it's Jerry. I've got everything set up just like it says in a book. I'm going to do what you said and wait till he gets out to hunt there by the river so nobody else is around. Can't wait for this to work. Hope he takes his hard crapping dog with him. Thanks again. After further investigation, Foundation agents discovered that Mr. Hubert passed away on March 16th, 1994, after he drove his vehicle down an embankment, colliding with a tree and killing him instantly. It is believed he was driving home after conducting the SCP-2270 ritual. An empty 12-pack of coarse light beer was found in the back seat of his vehicle, along with the SCP-2270-A manuscripts that Mr. Hubert had acquired. The individual identified in the emails, believed to be Dave Terrell of Augusta, Montana, was never found.